Hi guys, welcome to my channel Blu-ray Ben and today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the stuff I picked up for last month which was the month of October. First off, I just want to say happy Halloween to everyone, I hope you had a great night. You know, whether it was with friends, family or you know, going trick or treating with the children. Hope you had a great time and uh, yeah, watch some scary movies. Uh, I also wanted to uh, sort of say rest in peace to Sean Connery because last night, uh, you know, I sort of uh, found out about the sad news. He was an icon of mine, you know, I've loved movies since I was a kid seen so many of his movies, absolutely loved him as an actor and uh, I was, I'm just happy that I was able to see so, so many of his great movies uh, but yeah it's a real, you know, it's really sad to see that Sean Connery has passed away and uh, yeah, so yeah, rest in peace Sean Connery and uh, not much more to say. Okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with uh, something that I actually showed in a recent video, or last week's video which I did an unboxing of and it's the Ultimate 5 movie collection of the Bourne movies as I said in that video, I've only seen uh, the first one, the original. I uh, did enjoy it, but I never got around to seeing any of the others. And when I saw this going for cheap on Amazon, I decided to pick it up. And uh, looking forward to watching all of five movies back to back. Just got to find a bit of time to, you know, watch them all. Because I don't like watching one and then two weeks later another and then three weeks later another. Uh, I sort of try and want to watch them all in one week if I can. So I'll try and find some time and watch them, uh, you know, from the first one to the fifth one. So a nice set, if you want to check it out, go and look at my other video where I do an unboxing and show you the special features and things like that. So that's that. The next one isn't actually a pickup or something I bought, it's actually something I found. And uh, it's a bit of an anecdote really, because uh, about two and a half years ago I had a really big argument with my wife. Because I couldn't find this movie and I knew I had it in my collection, I couldn't find it. And because she regularly uh, sort of lends some of my movies to her friends. Uh, I just sort of assumed that she'd lent it to someone and she'd forgotten who it was and that's it. So we had a big argument and then about a week ago I was uh, refurbishing one of my rooms. I'm sort of painting it and I moved uh, my computer desk away from the wall so I could paint the wall and lo and behold I found it behind the desk all covered in dust. So don't tell my wife. I'm not going to say anything to her. You know, don't tell her she was right and I was wrong otherwise uh, it's not going to be good for me. I will never live it down. Anyway, it's the film Milk starring Sean Penn. Uh, great movie, uh, I'm sure most people have seen it because it's not a new one, but great performances and uh, yeah, it's a really good movie and as I said I wanted to see it, looked for it, couldn't find it in my collection and in the end I found it two and a half years later behind my desk. So yeah, enjoyed watching it again but I had seen it many times and I'm including it in this update uh, because yeah, because it's something new. You can actually still see sort of some paint on the corner here where it obviously fell down and scraped along the wall. Oh, yeah. so there you go. Anyway, next one. This one is a newer movie, it's uh, another of the sort of Star Wars, uh, the new Star Wars movies in the franchise and it's Solo, a Star Wars story. Uh, I think I've got all of the movies now, Star Wars, the original ones of course, and then also Rogue One and this one and you know all of the other new ones that we're bringing out and I do enjoy them and this is no exception. I watched this with my wife, she also enjoys watching the, the franchise and uh, we both really enjoyed it. Thought it was a good action movie. Uh, of course, it was good to see you know some of the backstory being related to the the original movies and things like that. And uh, you know Han Solo when he was young and how he met Chewbacca and things like that. Really enjoyed that. And yeah, action scenes were great. Uh, looks brilliant on Blu-ray. Sounded amazing. And just a movie that I thoroughly enjoyed. So yeah, that's Solo, a store, a Star Wars story. Okay. Next up we've got one of my sort of childhood uh, movie favourites and I don't know why I never owned it on DVD or on Blu-ray and uh, it's been brought out on a new 40th anniversary 2 disc edition so I sort of jumped on it. I did wait a bit, a few weeks for it to come down in price, I think it was 9 99 in the end and that is Flash Gordon. Comes with a slip cover, so really happy with that. that. Comes with loads of extras and I'm also happy because it comes with, obviously as I said, two discs but each disc has different artwork on it, so that's really good. You know, it just means that it sort of worked a little bit harder, not just sort of plain discs. And uh, yeah, as I said, loads of special features. The second disc is actually just for the bonus features. So I have uh, watched the film on Blu-ray. It looked amazing, sound amazing, especially with the, the Queen soundtrack. But I will have to find some time to put in the second disc and watch all the bonus features. One of these movies that I absolutely love, but a lot of people don't enjoy it. My wife actually started watching it with me. And after about half an hour, she said she didn't like it at all and she sort of watched, started watching her series. So, not for everyone, but I sort of really enjoyed it. Yeah. Okay. Next thing I picked up was actually the winner of the Oscar for Best Movie. Correct me if I'm wrong. 
and I knew I was going to pick it up because I love my foreign films uh, and of course if it wins best best movie I normally check it out and it's the Korean film Parasite uh, I know it came out a while back but as usual I like to sort of wait for it to come down in price a bit I don't like picking them up for 14 99 I think it's a bit too expensive and this came down I think it was 9 99 or 8 99 I'm not sure Watched it the day it came, absolutely loved it. If you haven't seen Parasite, definitely check it out. I know, I now know why it won, uh, you know, four Oscars and two BAFTAs. Uh, I love Korean, uh, Korean cinema. I've got a few of them, a few movies done in Korea, and I enjoy all of them. Really, really good, uh, you know, sort of country bringing out films. They do lots of different types, especially horror and thriller. I'm not going to say anything about this movie because anything I do say will give sort of a, you know, give it away. Definitely check it out, an amazing film. If you don't mind watching foreign movies and uh, reading the subtitles in English, you've got to check it out. Really, really enjoyed it from start to finish. One of those movies that lasts a long time, but you don't even realise. And before you know it, it's nearly over. Great film. Okay, and last, but definitely not least, is a three-movie collection, an animated trilogy, which is the How to Train Your Dragon uh, 1, 2, and 3. The third one is called The Hidden World. Uh, yeah, why did I pick this up? Uh, because... I actually own the first and the second movie on separate MRAs. And the other day, me and my wife sat down to watch the original, really enjoyed it. I'd already seen it before, but she hadn't. And she wanted to check out the second one. And I don't know why, but the second one didn't work in my player. It had worked before and it didn't work. So I went onto Amazon to pick up the second one. I saw they had the trilogy and it wasn't going for an expensive price. I think it was 9 99 for all three. And I said, well, I'll just pick up three of them. I'll get the new one. I'll get the second one, which will hopefully work. And I'll have them all in one set. So I did that, and we watched all three, uh, obviously the first one before, and then the second one and the third one, we watched it together. My wife loved it. I really enjoyed the third film. I think the second film was the weakest in the franchise, but it's still good. And so happy to have these uh, sort of movies in this sort of uh, thick Amore case box set. Looks nice on the shelf, doesn't take up as much space as three separate Amores. And yeah, another, uh, I think it's DreamWorks, is it? I think it's DreamWorks, so another good sort of set of movies from them. There you go, so those are the movies I picked up this month. I think there are 11 in total, so I'll just go through them. So obviously, as I said, the three uh, How to Train Your Dragon movies. Parasite, the Korean uh, film that won Best Oscar. Flash Gordon on the 40th anniversary, anniversary edition. Solo, A Star Wars Story, which I really enjoyed. Milk, which I found behind my desk. And then the five uh, Born films in this really nice set that I picked up for a great price. So there you go guys, as I said, happy Halloween. I hope you had a great one. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and of course subscribe to my channel, that always helps me out. Thanks a lot guys and see you in another video. Take care.